Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Villain Kids Vibe. Thanks for joining us. We are so happy to be back with you. That's right. Let's check out our weekend report. We got, guys, we had a lot of fun at our Rowan Rangers camping trip. That's cool. Do you know it's coming up in 17 days? Kids camp! Yeah! yeah. It's going to be so much fun. In the month of May, we have been talking about giving. First, we talked about how God deserves our best. We need to obey his word and give him our 10%. Next, we learned about um, how to serve God with our talents and to help others. Last, we talked about how obedience is better than sacrifice. Jesus was obedient when he died on the cross. All right, guys, now it's time to check in with you guys at home. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. You do not look happy. Oh my gosh. Can it's we? okay. It's not okay. It Come is. on, girls, we gotta win at least one. Right now, we will be taking a look at our Bible Hero of the Month. This month's hero is John the Revelator. Blake, can you tell us more? Absolutely. Did you know that the end of the world has already been recorded? The details of God's plan to restore Earth were written in a book called Revelation, and it was written by the sky. John, also known as John the Re Revelator. John was an apostle, a man who spread the story of Jesus throughout the world. I am here to bear witness to the end of days, when Jesus will return and set the world right. While Jesus was on the earth, John was his beloved disciple. He witnessed Jesus' miracles. Peace, be still. He was there when Jesus died on the cross. He even ran to the tomb when Jesus rose again. The tomb is empty. For years we've heard his message. Now we see it. John saw Jesus after the resurrection. He watched Jesus ascend into heaven. Years later, John was in, entrusted with the task of writing down how the final battle of the world will play out. I am to record my visions of the future for the benefit of all mankind. He warned that the end will not come easily. Be careful, children. These are the final days. There will be trials and tests. But John's words were also passed down to encourage Christians and to remind them that one day Satan will be defeated. Be gone, Satan! He also saw God's people's healed of sin and sickness and the earth return to its full beauty. For the former things have passed away. Behold, God makes all things new. John saw remarkable things that no one else before or since has ever seen. And because of the, his faithful retelling of the story, we know God's remarkable plan for mankind. And we're reminded that, it, that the time is short. 
and behold, I am coming quickly. Today's word on the street comes from Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God has great plans for his people. Our time is short, so be trustworthy and share God's words with others. Thanks, Blake. Now it's time for our challenge. Let's introduce our teams. For the girls' team, we have Tansy, and for the boys' team, we have Ivan. Hi, guys. What are we doing today? We are playing Mario Party. That sounds fun. Heck yeah. Don't forget about the envelope of dew. Oh yeah, you definitely don't want to face that. Seriously, you don't. All right, guys, are you guys ready? All right, here's how you play. Watch the screen for the green one while it makes this up. Keep an eye on it, it gets tricky. Whoever gets it right gets the team 50 points. Let's do this. Yeah! Here comes your first one. Yeah! Start! Okay, so done. So, oh. Uh, oh. All right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Write down your answers. All right. Why is that so fast? It was only the first one. Let's see who got it right. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Finish. Ah, uh, no, no one. one. My three was so tiny. Here's the next one. Start. Looks like they both put two. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes. yes! Looks like they both got a point. Here's the next one. Reveal your answers. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Let's see if you got it right. Finish. Both got it wrong. Oh, come Dang on. Dang it. I knew it was either this one or that one. And that went with this one again. It's one to one. Okay, here we go. Reveal your guys' answers. Oh, no. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Finish. Oh, oh we uh, both got wrong anyways. Uh, Stop getting the same answers. No, we died. They both got it wrong. Which means they're tied. All right, last question. Come on, Ivan. You better win this for the boys. No, come on, Kenzie. You got this. Let's see if it's right or wrong. Reveal your answers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. For the win. I won. Let's no! go. Let's go. The boys no! won. <laughs> four times in a row. No. Why did I put three? No, four times in a row, baby. No.
All right, now it's time to find the answer to the clues mystery. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you at home ready? I think they are. The answer is... Guitar! Yeah! Oh yeah, I got it right again. Make sure you put it in at the box at church. Okay. Team is the boy. Let's go. No. Four no. streak. No. Let's go. No. no. All right. That means you, Kenzie, will have to face the envelope of doom for the second time. Oh. Oh. What is it? Eh, 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 eh. This is scary. Scary pumpkin. Get out of here. It is get dizzy. Oh! I don't get dizzy. What does that mean? Well, what it is is you have to spin around ten times, and then you have to try and throw a ball into a basket. Within ten seconds, you three balls. Are you ready? No. Well, yes. I don't get dizzy. Ready? Set? Go. One. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with us at Sunday Night Vibe. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, little ding ling to make sure your videos go live. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.